Nickelodeon has just taken another victim. For a while now, Nickelodeon, you all know Nick, has had this weird obsession with changing the way that some of the most iconic cartoon and animation characters look. We can take a look over here at, you know, Spongebob Camp Corral. You all know how Spongebob looks, Patrick, the gang. This is not how they look. This is his gang of little toddler friends, and this is not how they're supposed to look, right? This is just a weird little cast, an ensemble of these weird Funko Pop looking little big planet skins, right? And then we have Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish, which is another show. I guess it's coming out very soon, coming to Netflix. And this is this strange, uncanny animation style mixed with cartoons and then we have this new kid that's replacing timmy turner again it's a strange thing they are doing and nickelodeon has taken another victim which is the back yardigans we all know who the back yardigans are so the back yardigans is this show that ran from 2004 to 2013 i don't know how old i was then probably six seven I probably looked at the show and was like, man, I'm, I'm too old for that show. But we do all know the show for having some pretty iconic music and theme songs. And one song specifically that made its way through the TikTok algorithm was the one that's like, Castaways, we are Castaways. You know the song. I'm not going to play it because copyright and YouTube and they don't get along very well. Either way, you know the song. And so Nickelodeon has decided to do something very unique with the Backyardigans. Again, 2013, that was over a decade ago. That was back when GTA 5 was brand new. We all know how that's going. Either way, the show ended a decade ago. And since then, you know, the Backyardigans have had their presence be held on through YouTube and make, you know, they pretty much make this brain rot for children. And so since 2013, you know, the Backyardigans have kind of had their presence continue to be known through YouTube. You know, it looks like every, you know, day, every few weeks, Nickelodeon uploads an episode or two of the show. Full episodes, you know, their songs, blah, blah, blah. They're kind of keeping the Backyardigans alive in this way and most likely doing reruns on Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. Until 10 hours ago, they dropped this monstrosity. Who is that? Okay. I will open this video up so you guys can get a look at the original yeah. cast. This is how the original crew looks. Again, I've seen these characters while I grew up and they're still on TV to this day. This is the original Backyardigans crew, Pablo, Uniqua, and Tasha. This is the original gang. These boys were holding it down alongside Lazy Town, alongside Drake and Josh, alongside freaking Little Einsteins. And now we have these absolute monsters. This is another look <laughs> at what happens when these big companies want to modernize things. You get this. We go from these, you know, pretty cartoonish but still recognizable characters. There's a penguin, there's a moose, and there's some like anteater alien thing to what is that? They look like amoebas, like some type of science experiment, right? And so this is the Castaway Sun, the one that I just sang, the Castaways. We are Castaways. And of course, it is on YouTube, kids, so you can't comment it, which is kind of funny. It's protecting them. But the dislike ratio kind of says all you need to know. 2,300 dislikes to 400 likes. Only 18,000 views. So it hasn't even made its way around. This might be the first time you're seeing this disgusting redesign of these characters, right? And so I'm going to play a little bit of it on mute. Again, copyright. You get these creepy looking animated dolls. It, it just looks so... I, I don't know how to describe it other than just ugly. It looks too modernized, too simple, too corporatized. Like, there's nothing special to this design, and they just don't look the way that they should. It's just nasty. It's brain rot. <laughs> That's, I guess, the best word we could say for it. It's brain rot. Nickelodeon has claimed another victim of the brain rot, you know, entourage, and destroyed the backyard against. 
So you can go look at the video, you know, it's going to be linked down below everything related to this video and, you know, the characters and stuff I've mentioned. And of course, you can go watch the Backyardigans full episodes on their own YouTube channel. Okay, so I lied to you a little bit by saying that I wasn't going to show anything. Now, for fair use purposes, this is an analysis of how the song sounds. Not only did they change the design of the characters, the art style, this video is nine years old, so it's going to look a little low quality. It's 480p maxed out. I'm sure there's HD videos out there. But the original song and cast voice actors were like, I'm pretty sure actual children or at least people doing children's voices. And you can hear it in the original song here. All right, I lied to you again. After I uploaded the song, every song that I used, even though I only used like two, three, four, five, six seconds of it, and I sung over it, got a copyright claim. So basically I played the original song from the original show and then I compared it to the new one. The original one was like these children's voices and they were singing the songs, we are castaways. And then the newer one is like really sped up and it sounds like an AI voice. It's super creepy, super weird. If you want to listen to it yourself, look up the original um, Nickel or Nickelodeon Odeon Backyard Again's Castaway song and then look up the new one and you can hear the clear difference and the new one just sounds terrible it sounds just as bad as it looks so back to the video so there's the original song from nine years ago it's probably older than that this is just when it was uploaded this is the new version it sounds like AI it sounds fast like it's sped up and it sounds robotic. Like we had the original is like, we are castaways. We, and this one's like, we are castaways. <laughs> Optimus Prime. No, it's, it's, it's just sped up and it sounds artificial. Like it sounds like they plugged in the lyrics into an AI program. It just is terrible. It's just really bad. And I feel like this is simply a wake up call for Nickelodeon. Stop destroying characters. Stop trying to update you know these characters for a modern audience because we've seen how well that's going for the video game community when they try to update things for a modern audience and what they mean by that is they want to ruin it because they want to make brain rot for children so they take these iconic cartoon characters these animated characters and their design that's been iconic for 11 years and they say okay now let's make them look like some background extras in despicable me and then plug the music through an AI program so we could speed it up and take any life, any little semblance of life from the original song and the original singing and just make it sound like a literal robot designed, singed, and edited <laughs> this entire project. You guys are going to have to let me know down below what you think of this entire situation. Did you guys watch the Backyardigans when you were growing up? And if you didn't, let me know down below what you did watch as a kid. Personally, around the time this show was out, I was probably off watching, you know, like Cartoon Network. I probably moved on to the older shows, even though I was still kind of young myself. This was a baby show. This was a baby show for me. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, and I'll see you all very soon.